Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week we are going to continue our journey through stage combat and we are going to focus today on punches. Now punches are going to be used in movies all the time. On stage usually it'll be a slap. I don't think you will have a lot of punches but when they do happen you'll really want to make sure that you can do it safely. Now, if you are getting punched, depending on where you are getting punched, you will need to have a different sound with it. If you're getting punched in the face, your job is to make sure that you fall correctly. And so what you are going to do is you are going to lunge out with your leg as far as you can. And once you lean, you're as lunged as you can get, place your hands on the ground and then slowly lower yourself to the ground. If you're getting punched really hard, you can probably just push yourself in that direction. But then what you really want to do is work on how do you get from a high speed to a low speed and to the ground as safely and soft as possible. That's your job. If you are punching, then what you are going to do is you are going to, again, make eye contact with your partner. And then you are going to load the gun, the eye contract, cock the gun and when you're punching on stage remember a punch on stage especially if you're punching someone in the face the most common we're going to do right now is the john wayne punch Come on, get up, Marcus. Please, all right? but when you're punching someone in the face it is really important that your audience sees and understands the story so when you're going to punch them what you can do is either grab them, you're either going to grab their shirt, or you can just put your hand up, right? So it could be you touching them, it could be you grabbing their shirt. Whatever it is, you're going to bring your arm up, and there's a reason for this. But it's all, one, it really makes your body look like you're pulling back a bow. And it's already a pretty cool looking thing, right? So as soon as I look at you and I go, oh yeah? Boom, and if I come here, now the audience goes, whoa, I get it. I see the story unfolding in front of me. And then what you're going to do is when you are ready to punch, you're going to close this hand into a fist and you're going to pull it toward you. Almost as though, imagine you're grabbing fabric and you're pulling it toward yourself. This is your nap. The reason it needs to come out here is because this sound is the nap. This is the punch sound that you are going to do. So as you are coming, bringing this forward, your arm is going to come forward here and that, so you are punching through as this is pulling in. So both of these things are happening and then you will continue your momentum forward and your partner sells the violence they sell the strength of your hit or you can have your partner duck and miss and then your fight can progress from that point your target area is here on your partner I want my arm to go here I don't want it to go near my partner I'm not punching for their head what I'm doing is I'm punching in a direction that the audience will understand is their head and I'm punching through that, and my partner, even if they mess up, will not be hit in the face. What they're going to do is go and throw themselves in that direction, in the same direction that I'm hitting. And that's the John Wayne punch. That's gonna be your most common punch that you are going to be throwing. The other common thing that you will probably run into is a gut punch. What you're going to do is bring your arm back and as you're bringing it forward, you're going to place your wrist or your hand on your hip. So you're going to come back here and then once you get to your hip, you're going to stop at your hip and from your hip, you're going to push and thrust your hip forward. Boom! And that way your hand never actually punches your partner in the gut. So what you're doing is, right? Here. And if I do that, especially if I'm coming from the other side, the audience won't be able to see it, especially if my partner is selling it. 
because my partner is going to be close enough that once they your once the audience sees this move here and they see my partner go and fold over then the illusion is complete so a gut punch and the major punch are really going to be the only ones that you're going to typically use if you're going to go into more detail well then we'll have to make more videos for all of the other kinds of punches but what i wanted to make sure is that you would have basic falls basic slaps basic punches right you're gonna have two specific punches if you're punching someone in the face or if you're punching someone in the stomach and you can use those in most of the stories that you're being told all right everybody what i want you to do is upload your version of each of these make sure you go slow you can punch yourself on the video or you can punch a partner or somebody in your house but remember your job is to keep them safe okay everybody i can't wait to see your recordings and i'll see you soon